Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Average Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding maximize items. The difficulty level of this question is hard, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads: We are given a table called inventory with four different columns: item ID, item type, item category, and square footage. Item ID is the column of unique values for this table. Each row includes item ID, item type, item category, and square footage. Okay, Lead Code Warehouse wants to maximize the number of items it can stock in a 500,000 square foot warehouse. It wants to stock as many prime items as possible and afterwards use the remaining square footage to stock the most number of non-prime items. Okay, we are asked to write a solution to find the number of prime and non-prime items that can be stored in the 500,000 square feet warehouse. Output the item type with prime eligible followed by not prime and the maximum number of items that can be stocked. Okay, note item count must be a whole number that is integer. If the count for not prime category is zero, you should output zero for that particular category. Return the result table ordered by item count in ascending order. Actually, this is a typo error. It should be descending order. Okay, let's go through this example. So here, if we look at this, right? So here we have certain prime eligible items not prime eligible items so what we need to do is so we have one two three four five and six so six items and if you sum all these you get some square footage now you need to divide 500,000 by the total square footage to get okay how many possible combinations of all the prime eligible items is possible make sure that we have that so you maximize the prime eligible one then obviously remaining area so 500,000 minus the area occupied by these six items is the area that is available for not prime and then we can go ahead and try to find out okay how many not prime items we can fit and that is what you get in your output okay so what we can do is we can firstly try to find out okay for every item type what is the total square footage as well as how many items we have so let me go ahead and start doing that so from this table called inventory let us group by the item type let us return the item type then let us do a sum of square footage so that we can get the area so let's alias this as area and then let's also get the number of items in each of these item types right so let's count the item id and let's alias this as number let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if you look at this right so now right now we have okay prime eligible there are six items that are prime eligible and with a total area of 555.2 square footage similarly for not prime we have this okay so now let's go ahead and add another column here so if 500,000 square footage is available then if we divide that by the area so that is going to give you how many total possible combinations of these six items is possible for prime eligible and not prime we do not care about not prime because for not prime we need to make sure that the only area remaining after filling prime eligible is the one that we are filling but let's for the sake of simplicity try to calculate that so what i'm doing is 500,000 divided by the area and that is going to give me a if i fill the entire 500,000 with prime eligible or not prime and then obviously this would come out to be an integer so let us use the floor part so that if it comes out to be let's say 100.2 so it is only kept it only keeps 100 so floor this entire thing and let's alias this as maximum combination allowed right let me go ahead and run this let's see if that column is added or not you see this is a runtime error can you tell me what the difference is yes so here we are writing floor of this divided by area we are assuming that the sql knows right but sql does not know yet so instead of area we need to substitute it by sum of square footage let me just go ahead and substitute this let me just bring it down so that it's easy for us to read and let me go ahead and run this now 
So now if we look at it, we have that column added. Let me just drag it to the left. So here we have prime eligible 900 maximum combinations. And if you just fill the entire warehouse with non not prime items, then you are going to have 3891 maximum combinations. Obviously, this is of no use for us. Okay. Now, once we have this, then what we need is for prime eligible, what is the total number of items that you can have? So maximum combinations is 900 and every combination has six items. So 900 multiplied by six. So you get 5,400 items. So for prime eligible, you can directly go ahead and multiply and get the item count. But for not prime is a challenge. So let's try to do this. Let's save this entire thing in a common table expression. So with CTE as, so now this entire table becomes a common table expression. Then from this common table expression, what we are basically doing is let us return the item type because we want that in the output. Now we need a out item count column. So for prime eligible item count is simply number multiplied by the maximum combination. So case when your item type is equal to prime eligible right so it's equal to prime eligible then what you do is you simply do number multiplied by max combination and that is going to give you the item count else the only item type that is left is not prime so else what you need to do is to get this right so you need to get the number multiplied by maximum combination right so number is fixed right four but how do you get maximum combinations that are possible here 3891 is basically if fill the entire square footage 500,000 square footage with only not prime but that is not what we need to do so firstly we need to find out okay 555.2 multiplied by 900 that is going to give you a certain square footage 500,000 minus that certain square footage is going to be the area that is left for not prime and then from there you need to proceed so what you need to do with else 500,000 minus you need to get area multiplied by maximum combination right so return me area multiplied by maximum combination from the common table expression where your item type is prime eligible right so that is going to give you the remaining area and then that remaining area needs to be divided by the area of not prime then only you can get the maximum number of combinations right so you divide this by return me the area of from the table CTE where item type is equal to not prime and therefore this is going to give us okay the remaining area divided by the area of not prime that is going to give you the possible combinations but again that is going to be in decimal we want integer so we can floor this entire thing so floor of this entire thing so this is the maximum possible combinations for not prime and then once you multiply this with number right so this one then you end this case when statement so basically this was a case when statement right so this is basically for prime eligible right how you got, got the item count and this entire thing is basically what how you got the item count for not prime and end as item count and we also need to order this by or item count and it should be in descending manner, even though this question says ascending manner, right? But it will not pass all the test cases. So there is a typo here in this question. Let me go ahead and run this. So yeah, this is accepted. If we look at our output, this is exactly same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit to pass all the test cases. So yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it. So yes, very tricky question. What we basically had to do was, firstly, we found out that, okay, for every item type, what is the total square footage as well as the number of items in that particular category and then we found out what's the maximum possible combination it fill that entire warehouse with only that particular type and once we had that then 
for prime eligible since we are filling the warehouse firstly with prime eligible items so we found out okay what's the total number of items number multiplied by the maximum cost combinations possible and then in this entire thing what is the total area that is going to be left we calculated that 500,000 minus the total area occupied divided by the area of a not prime right and then we multiplied this entire thing with the number of the combinations of not prime so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video